Okay, so today we are going to do a quick, hopefully, <laughs> famous last words, right? A quick tumbler, uh, vinyl split. Um, I've had this conversation with three different viewers today on different platforms, so I decided to throw this together super quick. Um, so I have a piece of vinyl cut, pattern printed vinyl. I have a piece of my rose gold HTV Rant Holographic Sparkle. I have a decal cut and I have some nail tape. So I'm going to set these two things to the side for now. Now we are going to try the wet method to apply this piece of vinyl. Um, I've not done the wet method on a tumbler as I've discussed with the viewers today. Um, I have used it several times on like flat projects, um, on glass and on plexiglass and things like that when I put an image on them, but this will be new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put some paper towels under here and I'm going to, um, I don't have a spray bottle handy. So I just have a little container with some water with two drops of soap mixed in. It's about a cup of water, maybe a little bit more, and two drops of soap. Um, I had this conversation with one of the viewers where she said she saw somebody use um, like Windex to spritz on. I don't recommend that. If you use a glass cleaner or a window cleaner that has the wrong chemical in it you can actually like it can eat your adhesive on your vinyl so i suggest not doing that but i'm going to get the um tumbler wet to start and i'm gonna um i'm gonna apply this slowly so i can keep wetting the tumbler because the water's just gonna keep rolling off so and you want the whole thing to stay movable or it kind of defeats the purpose of this method. So, um, I know it seems strange getting an adhesive wet, but that's what you do. So, um, I should be able to kind of wiggle it around. And that almost went on too easy. Um, but you'll be able to see that I have ended up with no bubbles whatsoever. Um, and my vinyl is where I want it. So I'm just going to go with it. At this point, I'm going to take my squeegee and I'm going to work from the center out up and down to push any excess water back out the bottom. I kind of wish this piece hadn't gone on so easy. Um, I was going to do the other two, just the regular method, but I think because of how easy that went on, I'm kind of going to do the wet method for them as well. But you can see the water coming out, maybe. Hopefully, um, you will want to let it dry extremely well, of course, before you go to epoxy it. So I'm pretty comfortable that there's not a lot of water left under here. So I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to kind of, this still has its protective covering on it. Also, I didn't remove that when I cut this piece. So I'm going to double check for fit, or at least somewhat fitted. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Except hopefully this one will actually slide a little bit for me. So 
So I'm going to get the whole cup wet again. A spray bottle is definitely easier, but you can see how it's where it's wet. It kind of slips around. That's what you're looking for is that slip. And this may just lay right down as well. But now I can kind of drag it down a little bit. And it's got a tiny bit of overlap, but that's okay because we're going to put a piece of nail tape on it to cover. This side doesn't have the overlap. So again, I'm going to push out any excess water. I'm also going to run a strip of nail tape around the bottom rim. So, um, when you're doing it off a decal, you really should have paper transfer tape. I don't own any paper transfer tape. And I've found that my standard will work. Um... I was definitely not going to do the decal this way, but I'm thinking it might be easier to keep wet for that. So, I don't know. I'm struggling to keep it wet. And you really do have to have the water under there to make it slip and slide. But it would buy you a little bit of time for placement. I just went with a simple wife, mom, boss decal for this one. So, I'm going to get it on there. And... It it may release slightly more difficultly just because of the water underneath the vinyl, but I assure you it will stay stuck once it's dry. And I am going to blot this one. I'm going to move all of this wet stuff out of here. I'm going to wipe my table down quick. And I'm going to cover this back up so I don't spill it because I currently have a big pile of glitter spilled over there that I tipped over earlier today looking for something else. My poor tabletop. So, what you're going to do is give it all some time to dry. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it all with a paper towel. And if you choose to, you can let it all dry one piece at a time, if that makes you more comfortable. You can kind of hear it um, where there's still water under there. So that's what I'm kind of working on, is pushing all of those bits out. It's almost um, crinkling. Because you definitely don't want water under there forever.
cups rolling away. I'm just grabbing one more dry towel. So I'm kind of run my hand along the entire thing. Better. I'm going to push the other direction as well. here and that's being difficult. I think I got her. I'm going to wipe across this one. This one I can feel there's no air or anything underneath. So I'm going to look it over hard to tell in this pattern what's the reflection off my light. Um, I don't feel anything. So I am going to let it dry a bit and then come in and stripe it and then move on to my epoxy. I'm going to let it dry for probably a good hour or so, maybe a little bit longer. It's pretty warm in this room though. So I'm going to put it over by the heater and just let it dry. And I'm going to use one of my cheats on this. I didn't do the best job lining that up even though I wasn't really paying attention side to side. It's slightly off, but not terrible. So I will be back. Okay, just popping back on quick. I was hoping this would happen. Um, and I did finally find one. Um, if you get a bubble, it's most likely a water bubble, not air in this case, but you're still going to manage it in the same way. You're going to poke a little hole in and push out that excess water. Um, sometimes if it's close enough to the bottom, you can push it out the bottom or the edge, but that one was kind of in the middle there. So, that was the only one I found so far, though, so I was hoping I could find at least one or two just to show you, but oh, I might have another one over here. Hang on. Maybe not. Maybe a tiny one. Um, I like to try and poke my little hole in between like a section where there's two colors or something. That was just a tiny little one. So I figure it hides the hole a little bit better. So I'm just double checking again. I think I have a tiny one down here, but I should be able to get that to the bottom. So, all right, so I think I'm good now. Like I said, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this nail tape on all of these edges. I 
do want this to cover that transition there. And I have my X-Acto knife, so I'll just cut it off. And I'm going to do that line on this side next. And this one doesn't overlap like that, so... Just run this one. I don't want to jinx myself, but y'all see how much better I've gotten with my nail tape. side. Just, just to tie it all together. I'm just going to kind of match that up to the top of the vinyl because I know that's a pretty straight line there. Cut it even with the other piece. And cut it even here. get that straight so I'm gonna take another run at it there perfect just to tie it all together so I'm gonna bring it over and get some epoxy mixed up and we'll get some resin on here okay time to get some resin on this one I want to grab a I think I'm going to go with the Touch of Rose Diamond Dust on this instead of an actual glitter. So, um, if you haven't seen me use the Diamond Dust, it's an ultra, ultra fine ground powder. So, I'm 
I'm just going to get it mixed in. I'm going to shut my turner off. Go on. I had to step out of the room for a second. I don't know why I turned my turner off. But I'm just going to get a coat on. Okay, got it all out of the cup. Now I'm going to get it spread. I apologize if you can hear singing in the background. The um, Adele concert has started on TV. And people in the household are singing along. So, <laughs> not well, but they're singing. <laughs> this was just a quick last minute today tumbler, so. I think it actually came out really cute though. Very last minute idea and concept. So, take this glove off. I'm going to torch it real quick. And I'm going to um, bring you down for a close up or bring it up to you actually. That seems to work better for me. Um, obviously this will get another clear coat because we don't let cups go with just one coat on, so. But it's just going to be a clear coat. It's not going to get more sparkle because, as you can see, it has plenty now. I mean, that diamond dust made that top white section that you know was plain look glittered. And it made it look like a water slide over glitter for this piece of vinyl. But, that is it. I very much appreciate you watching. Um, sorry it wasn't the greatest example of the wet method. I will try and find my spray bottle and do another one at some point here. Because I think on the curve, being able to constantly spray it would make it easier. So, but. It's that one little bubble on the other side but this will get one or two more clear coats and that's it over the next couple days or tomorrow whatever depending on what time I get started tomorrow so I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one